Hello, I'm Juliette Mann. I'm a business journalist and I'm on a mission to investigate why productivity in the UK is so poor. In this film, we're going to see if productivity lessons can be transferred to other parts of the economy, like the public sector. The NHS faces many challenges and increased demands to improve quality of care while reducing costs. The taxpayer, that's you, pays the equivalent of £2,000 each per year to the NHS. They spend money at an extraordinary rate. I'm on my way to meet Fiona Noden, COO of an NHS Foundation Trust. Her role is to help all her departments be as productive as they can be. What do people working within the NHS think about productivity? I think some people will see it as a, what's all that about? Um, what does that mean for patients? Is it just a, another word for doing things with less money? Actually, no, it's not. It's about how do we improve services and actually take out the waste out of the system. And I think we can learn a lot from industry around how to improve um, Toyota methodology around getting the right patient in the right place at the right time is, is key to improving services and actually taking waste out of the system. You mentioned to Toyota before, and what do you think that organisations like the NHS can, can learn from industry to improve the productivity? within the NHS? I think we get to a point sometimes where we go, this is the NHS and that's the way we do things. And actually it's really refreshing when you bring somebody in from industry to look at what you do, because it stops that constraint around the NHS or, about, or around, I'm a professional, so therefore I have a freedom to act around my profession, but actually I don't necessarily understand where the waste is in the system. You talked about that public sector ethic. Is it blinkered? Do you think there is enough of an open mind in terms of embracing outside help? I think it's highly variable. Um, you know, we've done a lot of work with the NHS. Those that are open to change and keen on change um, work with us very enthusiastically and in most cases the cost savings will be three, four or even five times the fees we charge. But what's much more important is that the staff are much more engaged, they love it, and all the clinical outcomes which they measure um, and they decide are important are always improved. So there are no trade-offs here, it's just good for everyone. The public are incredibly protective of institutions like the NHS and education. But with education spending at around £44 billion, getting value for money through better productivity is vital too. That's why I've come here to Middlesex University to speak to Peter Vermeulen, who's part of the senior management team. How important is it to have an open mind in terms of bringing in a fresh pair of eyes to look at a, an institution like a university or a business to see where improvements in productivity can be made. It's incredibly important. We've looked at various sectors beyond higher education and we've seen amazingly good practice. Those sectors often have developed it themselves but over many, many years. And it seems completely unsensible that we would just take quite as many years to develop that same good practice if we can actually work with those sectors directly um, and actually buy in some of those skills to be able to give us that head start. And a good example of that is Middlesex University for the last two years has been working with an organisation called Unipart. Unipart have helped Middlesex University in embedding a continuous improvement culture within the organisation. Unipart have been doing this for the best part of 30 years um, and we're gaining from that 30 years worth of experience from day one. Should there be more of a crossover between the business world and the world of academia. Yes, because it's not healthy if there's two cultures. So there's no way that colleagues in the education system can keep up with the pace of change in business. You need businesses in those colleges and universities constantly updating, refreshing, and making relevant the offer. It's crucial that the productivity measures that have benefited sectors like automotive are adopted by our struggling public sector institutions, yet it seems they find this difficult to do. That has to change. Simple changes like identifying and implementing best practices standard would reap huge rewards. As John Neal, Chairman and CEO of the Unipark Group says, 
In Unipart, the majority of our productivity gains come from sharing best practice, but that can only be achieved through a properly designed system like the Unipart way. Find out more useful information about boosting your productivity in our next film, Unlocking Your Employees' Productivity.